The Sun Giant is a massive image of a naked man carved into the chalk bedrock of a hillside above the village of Sunabas in Dorset, England. He stands approximately 55 meters, 180 feet high, brandishing a club in his right hand, with his left arm outstretched. His feet are turned towards his right, as if walking. His bald head is teardrop shaped, with eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth. On his naked torso are depicted an erect penis, nipples, ribs, a belt, and a belly button. The latter appears to have been incorporated into his phallus in 1908, making it more prominent now than it was originally. There have been discussions for centuries about when the Cern Giant was first carved. It's become clear that the Cern Giant is just the most visible of a whole cluster of early medieval features in the landscape, said Dr. Helen Gittos a researcher at the University of Oxford. Hercules was well known in the Middle Ages, a flawed hero both revered and reviled, and there was a particular spike of interest in him during the 9th century. By at least the 10th century, Cern was in the hands of the Eildermen of the Western Provinces, the king's leading thanes in the southwest. The topographical location of the Cern giant, on a spur jutting out from a ridge, with impressive views and proximity to major routeways, is characteristic of a special type of Anglo-Saxon meeting place. The attacks by Vikings nearby, the access to copious fresh water and the supplies of the local estate, make this an ideal place for mustering West Saxon armies with Hercules as a backdrop. In the 11th century, the monks worshipping in the monastery at the bottom of Giant Hill reimagined the Cern Giant as an image of their saint, Edwold, implicitly referring to the figure in the lessons they read on his feast day. This is one of the many ways the Cern Giant has been reinterpreted through the centuries, from Hercules to Hermit. The Cern Giant's identity was already open to reinterpretation, said Dr. Tom Morcom, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Oslo. The monks of Cern wouldn't have portrayed their patron saint as naked if they were carving him from scratch, but they were happy to co-opt him as an image of Edwold for their own purposes. The giant has long been loved and looked after and such re-identifications continue into the present day.